when it comes to remote and decentralized workflows and how you use the cloud, what about on the, uh, the post-production and original content creation side? You guys, you know, dating back to when you first t took on your current role and then going right through the, the World Cup and the Women's World Cup, you guys have really unique cloud-based workflows that allow people to be located kind of anywhere but work on content. So tell me a little bit about how that's evolved and how this has probably, I would assume, accelerated some of those workflows. Yeah, so it's, um, it's when I put my operations hat on, right, when you go from production operations, you know, we put our operations hat on, we kind of look, we don't kind of, we do look at, from an operational standpoint, our production and creative group as our consumers, right? right. And how do we, from an operational standpoint, best serve our consumers, our production and creative types to give them everything they need to serve their consumers, which are the viewers, right? So for us, when we took that step back, we realized that we needed to really get a handle on the transition uh, and understanding how we're going to handle our media moving forward, right? Because that's at the core of everything you just talked about, right? Is the movement, the creation, uh, the storage of all of our content. And, um, you know, when I, when I first started getting into this process, you know, cloud became a buzzword, right? Sure. Business has tons of them, right? Uh, and, you know, cloud was the, was the buzzword and it was like, oh, when you move into the cloud, when are you doing this? What about the cloud? You know, it was like the cloud was going to solve all. And myself and Dustin Myers and Reed Kaufman and Dave Sobel, the group that really handles this for us. The one thing we wanted to make sure more than anything, we didn't race to somewhere we didn't really understand and we didn't, un we didn't know the full benefits that we were going to get, right? We could have put our footage in any storage anywhere, but what happens then, right? What, what's the next chapter in all of your footage being stored in this cloud buzzword that we were hearing? So when we started to kind of go down these paths and talk to all these different vendors and start figuring out what we wanted to do, what well, we realized that we didn't see an off the shelf solution to what we thought our problem was, which is exactly what you said, which is our media needs to be available anywhere, anytime. And we just weren't seeing that, right? There was too many, there, there were just too many hurdles. There was too many roadblocks in the way of, oh, this serves this. Well, will this work if we're in Russia for the World Cup? Well, no, then we have to go for this. So the next year it was like, oh, we'll serve Paris for this World Cup or Miami for the Super Bowl. And it was always, a butt, right? And uh, it really kind of got all of us thinking, like, how come it's somehow the world's media has been put on YouTube and everything's been accessible, everything's accessible to everybody who wants to search for anything they've ever thought of and some stuff they haven't and gone down that, you know, what Google has created. Um, how come somehow the consumer world has passed the enterprise solutions, right? How come it's that much easier to find the media randomly across this world than it is our own media. And that kind of got our wheels and, and just churning on how we should think about this. And it just hit us that, you know, we need to be partners with Google, <laughs> right? Like it literally <laughs> was writing on the board, Fox Sports slash Google partnership. And we went out to, you know, talk to them and I went up to, to Google and, and kind of help them, uh, you know, and walk through what our vision for this media asset management world is and, and why we thought their partnership in this could be just great for both sides, that it could be a true partnership in the fact that we hadn't chose a cloud partner yet. Uh, and when we did, we wanted tools to help us. And what there's no better company in this world when it comes to search than Google, right? That is, it's a verb. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Their DNA, if you, if you went down, is search. And that's what we needed. And, and we tried to explain that, like, look, you've already done this. You don't, there's no enterprise solution for this other global consumer solution that you've given uh, in the way that you guys approach it. And, and they just, Google just approaches everything in such a user first way. And that was the, that was the coolest part about us. It wasn't approached in a technical way. Right. And a lot of the solutions we saw were always approached in the technical way. And Google really understood our vision to approach it in a consumer and our consumer production way. And what's easy is for people at their fingertips, not the people underneath and the back end and all that stuff. And, and to make this as easy as possible for the people using it and making the user experience of what we're creating 
the best. Um, so when we move our footage to Google Cloud, it's not just up there. And now it's the same thing as trying to go into a tape vault and finding something. But as you mentioned, now the machine learning, the AI, the tagging, the logging, everything will just be available immediately. And we're just going to be so much more efficient because of these also Google Cloud tools that they've already created. And now we're just putting this wrapper around it to give us all these tools on our footage in real time. Right. And you guys are already well on your way with this project. I know, you know, with Google, this isn't just a announcement of, hey, we're going to start working on this. It's, it's very much spun up. Uh, so, you know, again, I'm not looking for nuts and bolts from the technical side, but nuts and bolts from a, what does this let you guys do side? So what have you guys found so far uh, in terms of uh, speeding things up, making things a little bit more streamlined uh, that, that you as, as a manager of, of the people who are creating this content are, are excited about? Uh, it is, we have gotten more wows from responses to people when we've shown it to different people in production and, and other people around the building and everything when we've shown wireframes. And as you mentioned, um, you know, this isn't the start of this journey. This is, you know, we, we've been going through this journey with Google for over a year now to, to make this announcement. But where we are the most excited is um, with that machine learning, with what they're doing to our footage and all those Google Cloud tools, all the stuff that we used to think that we, how great would it be if we could search by text, right? So if Joe Buck says something, oh, I'm looking for that thing he says. Well, now we can actually search by, oh, you know, did he say... Red Sox win the World Series in 2004. It used to be we would sit there and try to search for Red Sox. You know, we'd find filters, right? right. Red Sox, 2004, you know, there was no metadata attached to it, right? Now with Google, all that stuff is happening in real time. And also, this will start to learn what different producers like, right? So we have people every week for, for uh, you know, our pregame shows and everything that like a certain type of video, right? They like that high end, low angle. Well, after it learns its user profile, it'll start suggesting that footage up to that producer. It won't waste its time with high angle game footage. It'll know that he searched, he or she is searching for that type of footage based on its, uh, based on their history on this product. So it's just going to make all of us smarter. It's going to make all of us more efficient when we, it, and it also will allow everybody to do everything at their fingertips. So, you know, somebody can be at home and have an idea for a feature and be like, you know what? I need that shot of Mike Trout, right? At the all-star game last year. Let me see if I can find it. They're not going to be going into the office to try to find it, right? They'll be able to just go on their phone or, or wherever. And once they find it, they can send it anywhere they want or tag it or, or whatever they put it in their own bucket. And um, it's really, we, we've had so much feedback from our consumers, which is our production people on what they needed. And this is really being built to serve their needs. And it's a pretty rare opportunity to just do something from scratch with a company like Google and just see the way that they think, which has been such so great for us to go through this process with them and, and uh, really learn the best practices of search uh, from you know them being the number one company in the world at that. Right. Yeah. And I, I, having talked to you, and now that you've gone uh, gone through this project a little bit, I know that you are a big guy when it comes to the possibilities that AI you know creates and and machine learning. Right. So not asking for a crystal ball or anything like that, but you know, where do you see the promise? Where do you think from an internal standpoint, where do you think Fox sports could go with some of these tools at their fingertips, you know, in a few years from now, are we talking, you know, space 2001 space odyssey type stuff? Um, I think it's going to make our world a lot easier, right? I do. I like, I think, you know, we're working on some other projects uh, with AI and machine learning of uh, during games that, you know, if Max Scherzer is sitting on nine strikeouts, our, our researchers and graphics shouldn't have to then look up when the last time he had 10 strikeouts was, right. right? You know, that we're working on these products that will just offer it up to our BAs and producers and talent that Max Scherzer is sitting on nine strikeout. This will be his seventh, 10 strikeout game, first, first time versus the Yankees and all that. So we're working on all types of products to just make our life better and more efficient and easier and take out some of the manual labor of the past.